a generic in-house tools, not using any cloud-related services. That is my concept. So I'm going to start with this. So use of NLP, a natural language processing, in an accounting application using, for example, a tally. See, I have a tally here. I'm going to create a company, a test company, with today's date, and there is no ledger here. Now, suppose you want to create transactions and complete an accounting task here. There is no entry, no entry whatsoever pass. And all the transactions are there in an Excel file here. So I have a small Excel file, small Excel file, which has all the transactions, a debit and a credit, the voucher type, narration and everything. Basically a script of a bank statement, which is entered. Now the biggest task here is, you know, when you import a Excel file, or, uh, you know, transactions, you need to have the ledgers first. Otherwise the system will not accept. So what did I do? I put a small AI here. He'll go and check whether the ledger is there or not. If not, it'll group under suspense, create the ledger, post all the transactions. So now there is a list of like 200 plus transactions are there. So which is there in a simple Excel file. And I've connected this using a TDL here in my dashboard. So, and which is also available for you to free use, which I'll show you later. So I'm going to import this. It says, it's reading the file, and it says 257 entries are there. You can see in the background the date of the entry changes. So without the ledger, all the transaction gets imported into Tally. So within a span of few minutes, you know, I can able to complete the complete accounting, uh, bank statement accounting of my client. And you can, you can see in the background there are some entries being posted, and there is a log file being opened. I'll later show you the link where this utility is. So using AI, now we can see, uh, see to the balance sheet, all the entries were grouped only in suspense. Now, picking out the entries, audit fee payable, you can just ma map it under uh, current liabilities. So like that, you can map all the, all the ledgers in, in the appropriate groups and complete the complete accounting. So like that, this small AI tool in Tally will help you to create a tons of transaction without the presence of actual ledger. I'll also show you another important thing. Let's go to some prompting. I have some prompts here in the site. It says, you can write this prompt, create ledger Kavilin. So you can write this in the Tally calculator panel. So I want you to see to the calculator panel. I just uh, type a prompt, create ledger Kavilin. Press enter, it says Kavilin is created. So let me go and check there, alter the ledger, Kavilin. So just by a prompt, just by a prompt, I can able to create ledgers, I can able to create transactions, I can able to do whatever I feel like inside this accounting application. It do, not only, you know, it is specific to Tally, it can be done in any accounting application, maybe Zogo or any cloud-related application. A simple prompts like this can work. There is also some list of prompts. I don't want to waste your time. So you can uh, write this prompt to make a, uh, write this prompt to create a ledger with the, with the closing balance. So there is a prompt here, create ledger, sundry creditors, ICA under sundry creditors with the balance. So I'll go again, alter, ICA. See here the ledger is created with the credit balance of 15,000 rupees. So I can space, specify whatever I want. Now, there is furthermore. I can say make payment 3,000 to ICA. It will pass a payment entry today. I'm sorry.
I'm sorry, that is a date-related issue. I'll, I'll just move on to the next point. So now, another example, I just developed a model just for the final where you go and double-click this button. It works with Python. You say any transaction here, the system will try to categorize the transaction as payment, receipt, or sales, not on a specific prompt, and try to get posted into the tally. I'll just show you an example. This will be, you know, more interesting. So I'm going to enter the transaction. So now this transaction actually successfully posted in the books. So I can use any, any language, any, any active sense or passive sense, this transaction will get posted into tally. So it categorizes the transaction, it tokenizes the entry. Just because it has a paid, it has categorized as payment entry, it made the date and made the amount, find out the party it posted in tally. I'll also give you an example on exporting the data out of tally. This will be you know, further more interesting. Let me just you know, open a company which has more uh, transactions. Uh, yeah, a single click export button I kept. All the transactions, including the daybook, daybook, ledger master data, everything actually you know, taken out of tally in a fraction of few seconds. I can just make the screen bigger. You can see it almost has 14 tables and it took a little over, say, 11.37 seconds, took the data. And now I open the data. I open the data. You can see all the data is coming in Excel format, including your daybook. With this, with this, you can, you can go and complete any kind of reports. For example, for example, class 44, we are giving disclaimers. Class 44 can be made in less than 10 seconds. Identification of 269 SST transactions, all these kind of things can be identified in the shortest possible time using this analysis. So with this, I'll complete my presentation. Thank you so much. And this is my contact details, which I will put it on the screen. And the tools are listed here. You can take a copy of this and use it. Thank you.